What's up legends? Today we are doing a video where we are going to be driving in the Ferrari, which means I hope you'll be able to hear me. Got the key here and I just wanted to, one, take the Ferrari out because I haven't driven it in a little while. And two, also just have a catch up with you guys. Talk about the, ga well, the garage. I talk about it like it's a huge collection. It isn't. It's, there's this car, the Audi R8. We still need to talk about that. And Ford GT. So we're gonna have a full kind of just chat. I feel like it's a long time that we haven't just kind of gone back to, to basics of talking about my cars, what's coming, what's going, what's staying, all this kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. First up, cold start. Ready? So 
yeah, so I have a few decisions to make. One is, you know, do I feel, uh, there's never a need for it, but do I feel like I would want to have a car of that price um, in the garage? Do I feel like I could afford it? If so, do I feel like I want the uh, carbon edition? Or the alternative is getting a normal Ford GT just completely specced out to however I want it. So that is an attractive option as well. You know, the car will, you can still get some crazy colors. Obviously, the more unique the color, the more special the color, the more it will end up um, costing you. So that's worth keeping in mind as well. Um, but yeah, oh, I've got a C63 right up my ass. I'm letting my engine warm up, mate. I cannot drive too fast. Oh, massive truck. Right, that is the Ford GT. That is an update on there. I want this to be a very, unfiltered kind of uh, oh sf90 Whoa very very cool that is actually around 4 gt money speaking of the 4 gt now the engine's starting to get a bit warm but still need to let it warm up a bit more and especially the brakes on this car 2009 car on carbon ceramics the brakes take a while to warm up so that's the update on the 4 gt i've made videos about you know how i would spec it the differences between the studio collection, the um, heritage edition, the carbon series. I've made videos talking about all of those sorts of things. So if you are interested and want more information on that, then all those videos will be linked down below or something. Um, this car, I just want to push it. Sorry, I told myself I would keep talking throughout this video, but it's so hard. I keep, by the way, if you're wondering um, why the gear shift sounds so slow, first of all, it's a single clutch gearbox, but I also lift when I'm not really on it. I'll lift every time I change gears already. And it's just easier on the clutch, easier on the gearbox on these F1, F1 cars. So, that is the 4GT. Uh, the Audi R8 V10 Plus manual. Um, I technically still have. It is still up for sale at DMV Collection. It's been about a month. Um, I'm in no real rush to sell that car. I'd rather sell it well um, than rush to, to sell it. And if it doesn't sell well, then keep it or I don't know. But right now it's up um, at DMB Collection uh, in the UK. We've got a driving uh, driving school car in front of us. They're going to be feeling a bit of pressure with me behind and the C63 behind me. Um, so yeah, Audi R8 is still up there. It's been completely unwrapped, still got the exhaust, still got the steering wheel, all, the, all that good stuff. So all the links for that will be down below. No update really coming from there. Um, and then this car, the 430 Scuderia, which I am completely in love with. But sadly with like winter, even though it's a very mild winter we have here, I haven't been able to drive it as much as I like recently. And I have just, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to replace it because I love this car to bits. But I've just started toying with the idea. Oh, there goes the C63. I've just started toying with the idea of what if I were to replace this car? What would I replace it with? And uh, the one car that I've kind of just been, yeah, briefly toying with the idea, the two cars are either a Porsche GT3 RS 991 first generation, so 991.1, or a Porsche 991.2 Turbo S. Uh, those are the, my two kind of like soft spot cars for now within a similar price range. The other car that I'm like, that I love is the Lamborghini Aventador, but has a different price range, different running cost, different insurance cost, all that stuff. So that I'm not so sure about right now, but those, I, there you go. Again, just being completely open with you guys. Um, wanted to see what your thoughts and opinions are on that. The engine's getting a bit warm now, so we can give you a little... That is why I don't really want to separate myself from this car. It is so cool. Such a sense of occasion. It's a Ferrari. It makes so much noise. I love it. I love it. It's in my dream spec. Ah, oh, yeah. Every time I don't... I, like, I haven't driven it for two, three weeks now. And then when I get back in it, I'm just like, oh, I can't sell this. I can't, I can't get rid of this car. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have an, an open chat with you, talk about the cars, 4 GT, many questions to be answered there. And I'm very interested in hearing what you guys think. I'll read all the comments.
that. Um, is it worth going for in the first place? If so, carbon series, normal, um, what kind of spec? Um, do I take the earlier delivery or do I wait for a later delivery for some reason? Um, do I keep the 430 Scuderia? For now, the way I'm seeing it is not potentially worth the extra money on the carbon series. Audi R8 will probably be sold soon and keep the Scuderia for now. That's how I'm feeling things, but I, I really want to know your opinion and I just wanted to keep you in the loop. Um, so yeah, hope all is well. We'll be back with uh, other more normal videos soon. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my drive. There are videos of me driving this car hard up that exact road I just drove. Um, so if you want to see those, they will be linked down below or somewhere around here as well. Um, because I have blasted this car up that exact piece of road. So if you want to see that, another video. Anyways, hope you're well. Subscribe if you aren't already, if you want to follow what ends up happening with the cars. And I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for all the comments. If you put a comment down below as well, I really appreciate it because it really helps me with these decisions. So yeah, cheers guys. Bye.